Now I'm going to show you how to draw a spar gear in SOLIDWORKS. Generally, the parameters of a gear given are the number of teeth, module, and pressure angle. Using these given parameters, we also need to find some additional parameters such as pitch circle diameter, addendum circle diameter, dedendum circle diameter, and tooth thickness. We are going to use all parameter to draw our spar gear. So let's begin. First, I'm going to start with drawing the center point of my gear. For that, I'm selecting the front plane and I'll draw the axis X and Y that will be um, so that cross section will be my center point. Um, if you remember, our module was 10 millimeter, so the scales would be in millimeter. So make sure your scale here is in millimeter. Now we're going to start drawing circles. First, we'll draw the PCD, pitch circle diameter, which was 230. So I have to draw the circle. And now I can fix the diameter. Radius would be 115. So I made that. Except now I will just make this one a little bit bigger going outside. So the addendum circle diameter was 250. So the rest would be 125. I'll just draw a diagram circle and fixed it here we should be 125 right and then I have to draw another circle we should be didn't them circle smaller than the pitch circle and which was 207 so half would be 103.5 so, under 3.5, and that's my didendum circle. Now we're going to draw a fourth circle using the given pressure angle. To do that, I have to draw a straight line here on the pit circle. horizontal line and remember the pressure angle was 20 degrees so I'm gonna draw another line here and fix the angle letter so it was 36 all I have to do is change to 20 except and it is 20 degree now so this angle is 20 degree now all I have to do is that draw another line from the center outward. Our goal is to make um, this line 20 degrees from this vertical line. So I'm again trying to fix it. Now this time I have to do 90 plus 20, 110, 110 degree. So now this is 20 degree here. So now all I have to do is that extend that line using trim entities. I can do here. So now it's extended to to the previous line that I we draw. So we have to draw the fourth circle from the center up to this point. So I'm gonna select the circle, start from the center and up to that point. So just a quick recap, so far we have drawn the pit circle, the addendum circle and the addendum circle here. And this is the circle that we drawn using the given 20 degree pressure angle. So now we can get rid of these lines and now we're going to use the 
fifth thickness that we have found 15.7 to draw some more circles from the pit circle so first we'll draw a circle that has a diameter of 15.7 so I'm going to start from that point the radius is 7.85 half of the pit thickness Now I'm going to use the trim entities to get rid of these two lines because I'm going to use this point. So next I'm going to draw two more circles. Now this time the radius will be 15.7. This one and another one from here. Now my first gear teeth is ready. This will be my first gear teeth and I'll have to get rid of the additional part. So I'm gonna go trim entities and get rid of this circle first. I also don't need this one. I also don't need this one. I don't need this one. And I also don't need this one, this one, this one, this one, this one can go. I don't need this one because I, all I need is that the lines from the addendum circle to the circle that we drawn using the 20 degree pressure angle. So I think we have our gear visible now. We'll get rid of the additional circle that we just don't need. Now we have to do a little more editing and connecting the edge of the gear teeth with the dendrum circle. To do that, there's a lot of way. As a beginner way, it's just to draw a straight line here and draw another two straight line here and another one here. So now I'll get rid of some entities that I don't need. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. So now I have to get rid of some parts using the trim again. I'm using part trim. I'm get rid of this line and this line. This lets me to do a fillet between this line and that line. And I need the circle afterward. So, um, I do not need these lines anymore, so I get rid of those. Now I go to Tools and Sketch Tools and uh, Fill it. I select this line and that line. Um, the fillet is high, so I have to, I, all I have to do is just change a little bit. Let's do 4.8. You can use any dimension here just to look at nice. And this dam diameter parameter is not given, so um, I accept. And I have my radius here. So I have to do the same thing on this side. So now this is my gear teeth ready. All I have to do is circular pattern to make this gear around the circle. Now I'm creating the circular pattern of my 
individual teeth here around the pit circle. So I have to go to tools, sketch tools, circular pattern and 23 times because the teeth number is 23. It has created all the teeth and I say yes. So these are all created. I get rid of my pit circle and I create another um, dendrum circle to make my 3D object. Now to make it easy, I can do um, trim entities and get rid of the inner layers. Right, some few left. So now I have my. Um, here. Now I can make it a little bit nicer by making another circle inside and then um, creating more circle here. So I'm, I need to select the entities to pattern. I'm selecting this circle. It created four. Let's do a little more six. And yes. I'm um, get ready. Get. I got rid of the inner circle, and now I am ready to do my extrusion for my gear. And that's my extrusion. I can say I don't need that much of thickness. Maybe thirty-five millimeter. And that is my gear.